Breaking the Wall of Internet Inequality, Baha Eddin Yosef Belmeki, Falling Walls Lab, Kaust. I was born and raised in Africa, and when I was a child, I was fortunate enough to have an excellent education and many opportunities. Yet, in Africa, there are 400 million children missing educational opportunities just because they don't have the internet. That is eight children out of 10. But this is not only a problem in Africa. There are more than a billion children around the world, even in developed countries, that don't have the internet. This creates a massive inequality in education and skill set by having limited access to educational resources, learning opportunities, and exposure to the world. So why have we not solved this problem? Well, the simple answer is money. You see, building terrestrial cellular towers costs money, and mobile operators do not want to invest unless there is a guaranteed return of investment. But the populations who don't have the internet have generally low income and cannot afford it in the first place. Then again, there is satellites, but our mobile devices are not designed to communicate directly with satellites. Therefore, we need something that could act as a middleman between the satellites and the users on the ground. So my idea is to use blimps, <laughs> solar-powered blimps. These blimps will float in the stratosphere at an altitude twice as high as airplanes fly. And as they're filled with helium, it gives them an aerostatic lift, keeping them in a quasi-stationary position for more than six months. And underneath, they carry the necessary internet equipment. We call them stratospheric towers. And my solution is to design a formation of several stratospheric towers, creating a large interconnected network in the sky and allowing satellites to communicate with the users on the ground. One stratospheric tower was tested in Saudi Arabia, and it provided the first ever 5G internet from the stratosphere. It was a huge success. But the most important aspect of this solution is Money, <laughs> because using stratospheric towers is 60% cheaper than using terrestrial towers, making internet affordable. In Burundi, where 90% of the population do not have the internet, we can provide the internet to the entire country only with three stratospheric towers. We would need 1,000 terrestrial towers to provide the same coverage. With this solution, children in Africa and around the world will have access to an affordable, state-of-the-art internet, giving them a better education, equal opportunities, and a brighter future. Thank you. <laughs>